Here I have a blank part file that I will sketch an ellipse in. The ellipse tool can be found in the Sketch tab of the Command toolbar. In the Tools drop down menu, under Sketch Entities, and in the right click menu while in Sketch mode, the cursor updates to indicate I am sketching an ellipse. To begin sketching an ellipse, the center point must be chosen first, then the length of the major axis of the ellipse must be set, and then the contour of the ellipse appears and the minor axis can be set to place the ellipse. First I'll set the center point of the ellipse, move the cursor to the left, and click to place half of the length of the major axis. Then move the cursor upward, and click to place the contour of the ellipse at half the height of the minor axis. Once the ellipse is placed in the graphics area, the property manager appears with a number of options that can be adjusted. There are boxes that list existing relations, any relations that can be added, an option to convert the sketch into construction geometry, and control parameters to set the position of the center point, half the length of the major axis, and half the length of the minor axis. For this ellipse, I'll change the major axis to have a length of 50 millimeters, so I'll input 25 millimeters into the major axis spin box. For the minor axis, I want a height of 30 millimeters, so I'll input 15 millimeters into the minor axis spin box, and click the green check to complete the sketch. Next, I'll use the Partial Ellipse tool to create the same ellipse with a quarter of the sketch removed. I'll activate the Partial Ellipse tool from the Sketch tab of the Command Manager. Place the major axis of the ellipse using inference lines. Place the minor axis, and then move the cursor around the contour of the ellipse until it has approximately a quarter of the profile removed. Now, I'll use the parameters to specify the major axis, the minor axis, and the angle that the ellipse passes through. For the major axis, I'll type 25 millimeters. For the minor axis, I'll type 15 millimeters. And for the angle, I'll type 270 degrees. I'll click the green check, and the sketch is complete. To modify the ellipse, I can either drag one of the points that was created at the end of the major axis, which adjusts the overall length of the major axis, and the ellipse can rotate. Or I can drag an endpoint of the minor axis, which adjusts the overall length of the minor axis and allows for rotation. Or I can click and drag the center point to rotate the ellipse and adjust the length of the major axis simultaneously. Or if I click and drag the edge of the ellipse, the entire ellipse maintains its geometry, but can be repositioned elsewhere in the sketch. The partial ellipse performs similarly when it's modified. If I click and drag one of the points on an axis, the ellipse will change the axis length. and the ellipse can rotate. If I click and drag the center point, the ellipse retains its shape and translates to where I place the point. However, if I click and drag one of the endpoints of the open section of the partial ellipse, the opening can change, the ellipse can translate, and it can rotate. To complete the modifications, I will click the Exit Sketch button in the Command Manager, and the ellipses are complete.